How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to kick curveball. Kicking curveballs is personally one of my favorite techniques when it comes to just shooting in general, whether it's a rolling shot, standstill, or even volleys. But let's go ahead and start with a really key component, the setup. So generally, when you kick a curveball, you wanna set the ball up and face towards the goal at an angle. As you can see right now, I'm kind of facing the right hand side of the field. This is gonna let you be able to get on that right sweet spot of the ball to kick it and get that really good spin. Now, next important factor of kicking a curveball is where you're striking it on your shoe or boot. So I think this is a really good example with uh, Adidas Predator Elite. They've already got like this strike skin, kind of where you want to aim to hit. So like generally on these middle to bottom part of the strike skin on your foot. So kind of, so running up and then slapping it right there on that sweet spot and then pushing through. Now your planning foot also is pretty important. Um, generally, me personally, I don't really point towards the goal when I'm kicking a curveball. My toe is always towards like the far end post or even just where my body is facing. So kind of going into it like right there. See how my, I'll move the ball out the way. How my toe is just pointing towards almost the, the corner flag right over there that you can't see, but I can. Now, where you want to kick on the ball, and this kind of varies um, on how you want your shot to go. So for example, if you want your shot to go a little bit higher and farther, you want to hit it a little bit under the ball just so you can get a good lift on it. If you want your shot to have a good power and nice steady pace to it, you're going to want to hit it almost at the center of the ball and or if you're trying to get like a driven pass on the floor with a nice curve to it, you're gonna wanna hit not at the top of the ball, but like a little bit above the center line. And lastly, I think the most important part of kicking a curve ball is the follow through. Generally, whenever you go and kick for a curve ball, your follow through wants to be a bit exaggerated and kind of whip with the ball. And don't over exaggerate it because if you over exaggerate it, you're gonna injure yourself. But what I'm saying is whenever you go and kick the ball, the follow through should kind of have like a little bit of whippage as well. But like I said, the very smallest bit because if you over exaggerate it, you're gonna hurt your groin. With that being said, let's get some practice shots in. So I'm gonna set up the ball right here, right next to the cone. Like I said, I'm gonna be facing kind of towards the right side of the field or towards the the flag line, the corner flag. And from here, your normal, your normal setup, whatever works for you. Take a couple steps back. And remember where you wanna plant with your left foot, kind of where you're already facing. And we're gonna go for a power shot here, so we're gonna hit the middle of the ball and follow through with a little whippage. Let's do it. That could use a little bit more power. Now, if you're a left-footed player, just do all of that, but with your left foot and just swap your lefts and your rights. There we go, there we go. Let's get a couple more in. That one's pretty close. I run into this problem a lot, where when I want to whip the ball, I'm always hitting the ball right here. If you're running into that same problem, try to avoid leaning back whenever you're kicking and leaning forward towards the ball and powering through. I kind of like that. That one was clean. And let's be honest here, there's nothing more satisfying than hitting a nice curve ball and just seeing that ball spin super fast into the top right or top left. See now with that shot specifically, I hit it a little too under, so that's why I went super high. Okay, now for this one, I'm gonna try to go full power, get a nice elevation to it to where it just perfectly goes into the top right. Now for that, I'm gonna try and strike right here on the ball, so almost on the middle, a little bit under the middle, and then just make sure to pull back 
and follow through. Let's give it a try. Ooh. Way too under the ball there. Let's try that again. That one had a good elevation to it, but there wasn't enough curve. And another tip that I'm gonna say is make sure you keep your ankle locked because when, you t when we tend to try and curve the ball, we kind of think like also move our foot. Some people do that, but I'm gonna recommend not to because you're just gonna, it's a higher chance of just injuring yourself. So try and lock your, lock your ankle, follow through and get a little bit of whippage with your leg movement. Now, there's not that big of a difference between a standalone curve shot and a rolling or moving curve shot. I think the only difference obviously is that you're moving and you need to really be careful on where you're pushing, planting your, your weak foot or the foot you're not shooting with because when the ball is moving and you plant a little too early, you're gonna completely miss the ball. And if you plant too forward, you're gonna just either kick the floor or miss the ball. So I, I recommend starting off with a nice slow roll and doing the same thing. And once you get comfortable enough after doing some slow rolls, you can start to pick up the pace a little. If you saw that run up, when I striked, I left my left foot planted, so I kind of bent down and fell like this. Don't do that. That one was close. Now I'm just gonna take a couple shots from this angle for you guys because this is probably the most satisfying and best angle to see the actual curve going into the top right. But let's hope I can actually hit one. So stance stays the same. Let's do it. I did not lock my ankle with that one. There we go. They're all going to, towards the right direction, but not enough power. Ooh, it's a little bit more curved. That would have been nice. Well, this video helped you in any way on how to learn how to kick a curveball. Please let me know down in the comments. And if you have anything else that you want me to make a tutorial of, <coughs> power shot, whatever. Also let me know down in the comments, but if you haven't already, make sure you go down, like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I see no man see that. Nice and easy. But let's go ahead and start. With the main. Oh.